As the gold price peaked in 1979 and 1980, the dollar value of U U.S. gold exceeded 100% of the value of foreign holdings of U.S. treasuries. This was a period of increasing concern about runaway consumer price inflation when interest rates on treasuries couldn't keep up with inflation, uh, causing gold to become the preferred hedge against rising consumer prices. Investors at that time sold bonds and bought gold, eventually driving the gold price high enough to collateralize the entire foreign holdings of U.S. treasuries. Today, with gold just under uh, $4,000 per ounce, the total value of gold is less than 20% of the value of treasuries held by foreigners. In other words, to collateral, collateralize foreign U.S. held U.S. debt with gold, its value must increase by about five times from current levels. Again, I'm not saying that this will be the ultimate price target, but given the potential upside, plus the lack of interest in gold among investors in the Western Hemisphere, and that is most dollar-based investors, gold is nowhere near a bubble level yet. So despite the sharp run-up in the gold and silver price, for all these reasons, I do not think the price is anywhere near a peak. I think the upward move has a long way to go. In other words, this is not 1979. So hang in there if you own the precious metals. And if you don't own them, it's not too late to start by dollar cost averaging in a, in a regular savings plan. And the sooner you, you get started, the better.